Yes, yours. I'm going to come through that screen, grip you around the neck, and tell you to hit that subscribe button. Hey guys, hope everybody is well. Welcome back to another video. Now today, I'm flying out to Florida to commentate, present the World's Strongest Man 2020. A uh, number of athletes going on, but um, we are flying business class with BA. So we're going to record the experience for you. We're going to try, try, and upgrade to first class. Uh, fingers crossed on that one. So uh, me and me and my videographer Hannah here are in business class. So let me just look up the price of a ticket for both ways for business class first. Right. So I've just looked up business class flights from Heathrow to Tampa for one person return. Just says at the bottom there. That's that's, that's the fastest route which we we are on. It's 9,500 per person. So, and obviously there's me and my videographer had it. So this is in essence 20 grand's worth of flight. Um, so, it's a bit of a weird one. I mean, usually with business class you get like a lounge, um, you know, a bit of extra, extra service and the, the airport's eerie quiet. Like there's nobody here, I think there's like six or seven flights on today. Uh, all the shops are shut, all the restaurants are shut. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna do our best. We get on the plane, see if we can upgrade to first class. Because uh, business class is, you know, for the, for the peasants, to say. So, uh, see you on the plane. Right, so we're in, <clears throat> we're in the business class seats now. Now the seat that Hannah in is quite actually tight. It's got like a, a bit of a shoulder thing there, so it makes you quite crimped. But because the business class is absolutely empty, I've got the, the pick of the choice of all the seats in business class. And actually the one in the middle has the most shoulder room. So I can proper space out. The bed fully reclines. So I can lie down, get a good good good, good bit of oh, get a few hours kip in whilst we fly. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. You um so the bed fully goes into a uh, the chair fully goes down into a bed loads of pillows um you know what, i've just thought where's my tv oh it's here on the side here so i suppose the experience with the the business class is you get to lie down and you get basically if you're hungry you press a buzzer you get meals you get drinks you know anything you want really so uh it is absolutely dead in here i've got someone sitting next to me let's uh, let's see who it is Oh, it's Brian. Hey, Brian. Glad to see you here. I thought you'd be flying from uh, Colorado. But no, we're. Uh, what, why are you flying from the UK? It's not not so uh, not so talkative today. But, um, it's nice to see Brian on board. Flying out for Will's strongest man together. Friends. Right. So uh, we'll wait till we're in the air, and uh, we'll see what. Uh, delicacies and you know extra pluses you get in business class with BA right just took off and uh, and handed a bottle of champagne bubbles right hang on let me get into this I hope it isn't a cork one that's a, it's a very very bad idea giving me a cork on a plane gonna end up in someone's eye or it's gonna go through a window and then we're all gonna get sucked out through the window. One or the other. What is it? What is it? Oh it's a screw top. That's boring. A tipple hanner? Sir Nicholas Fouillati from uh, France. Brian. Splendid. Few moments later. There's just there's just some things in life where you just like you look forward to things, don't you? You know what I mean? Like the food on business class is up up there. It's like good. And then because of this 
what I've got. Okay. Yellow chicken curry. Sorry, halal yellow chicken curry. A bottle of water that literally that you couldn't even use that as mouthwash, is that not enough? A salad. A crusty, and I mean that, crusty bread, walnut, with two blocks of cheese and two grapes, olives, and then a chocolate mousse dessert. Let's just have a look at the uh, the main, just for just for giggles. Oh, Hannah. Oh, hey, look at that. Look at that. It doesn't any much better than that, does it really? I mean, that is just like perfection. I don't know what, I don't know what to start with. I don't know what to start with. I, I will say this, I've been on BA business class before, it's much better than this usually. I just think because of the current circumstances, I just think they've had to cut back, is the right word, on little bits. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't do them justice. I mean, I'll still devour the food, but I'm not happy. Here we go, the uh, taste sampling commencing. Mm. Mm. You know what? It's not bad, I take it all back. It's actually quite flavoursome. I'm going to enjoy my uh, school dinner curry and salad. Alright. I'm going to see what the toilet's like, eh? Nothing special. At all. At least I can uh, stand up in here. My bit of shoulder room, everything else. I'm not impressed. A little longer than a few minutes later. Right, it's been a few hours. Uh, must admit, it's nothing special. Absolutely nothing special. I think the best thing about business class, and this is what I always say, this is what I pay for business class flights. This is what it's worth. Lying it down. If you can lie down, honestly, like there's been there's been stages in my career where I've paid thousands above economy just so I can lie down on like a 10 12 hour flight because how busy I am and I need to be fresh for on set and everything else so here we go oh, is that it no back up we go let's try again thing is when you weigh so much so, so at the minute I'm about 26 stone which is like 300 360 pounds Thereabouts. Oh, there we go, we're going. Come on. No, we're going back up. And then, yeah, so what I find is, is the motors can't take the weight of me, so um, they tend to stall a little bit. Yeah, it's stalling again. Right, I'm going to stand up, lay it down, and then lay down on it. I think that'd be easier. I'll lay the bed down now. Right. Here we go. Here's the test. Oh, God. Ugh. what you pay the money for now any other seat has got like like a tight shoulder so I couldn't fit in but the middle aisle has a lot more shoulder room so anyone flight business class BA make sure you go for a middle seat because you get more more shoulder room so uh, yeah I don't you know what? I don't really care about the service I don't care there's no business class lounge. I don't care that you don't get champagne and caviar. I'm lying, I do care. I do care, I really want it. I was looking forward to my caviar. But um, this is what you pay business class for. So I'll see you in a little bit.
Just off the flight, pretty standard. Done loads of business class flights in my life and that was a pretty standard flight. Food was crap. Uh, all you pay for really in business class is lying down on par with any other business class flight. I think one of the best I've had so far is probably Emirates. So it doesn't quite compare to Emirates, but probably on par with the rest. So uh, hope you enjoyed that little exploration into business class for BA. And if you like the video, give it a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. Big love the beast. Thanks for watching guys.